So I'm just gonna do a test. A test, testing, testing. Are you like Charlotte? I'm scared. <laughs> I wanted to show a little leg today. That's so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Right. Ready? Ready? Go. Okay. <laughs> rolling. Mm, rolling. Three, two. two. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Yegi here. Those of you that don't know me, I am a lash artist, lash educator. I own my own business and product line, everything eyelash extensions, and today I'm excited to be interviewing Rhonda! <laughs> so she's one of our ambassadors and also a lash master herself. She's gonna share her story with us and we'll get to know her a little bit more. I'm excited to talk to her and see what's been up <laughs> since a year, since the last time I personally talked to her for a good amount of yes, time. Yes. So welcome. Thank, Thank you for you. making Thank the time and coming me. down. <laughs> you look perfect. Thank you. You look good. Yeah. We, we, we all look good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, probably safe. Yes. Okay, so first question for you. So I want everybody to know your story. So share what you like with us. Uh, what's been your journey in becoming a lash artist and where, where do you stand in the beauty industry? Okay, well I started off, um, well just to take it back, uh -huh. my dream job was to be like Oprah. Oh my god, is. mine too! Right? I swear five years ago I recorded a video and I was interviewing and that's what I said. I said, I said I want to be like Oprah or Ellen of uh, like YouTube. See, I knew it was a reason why we were connecting yeah. again. Um, I wanted to, to be like I Oprah. I didn't know that about you. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> I wanted to have my own TV show. Um, when I was in high school, I used to do my own commentaries. So wow. like kind of like the short film stuff that we see on Instagram, I used to do that as like a short film. Um, so I would be like three reasons on how to how to get through your boyfriend breaking up with you and oh I would do like gosh. a whole skit. Um, I used to do like the whole broadcast thing. I absolutely love that. Um, wow, I, that's something new. <laughs> I yes. learned. Uh, journalism, I was big in journalism. I used to write for my high school's newspaper. Okay. Um, so I was really big into writing. I just knew that was going to be what I was going to do. Um, until you met lashes. <laughs> yes, until I met lashes. I moved to Chicago mm -hmm. and I used to watch YouTube. Where were you originally from? Um, I'm originally from Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, okay. So I moved to Chicago. Um, I just wanted something new. I thought I was going to go out there for journalism so I could be like Oprah. No. And I just noticed you, that... You'll get there. <laughs> well, it's crazy because I noticed that I spent most of my time watching YouTube tutorials, watching makeup tutorials. And before I knew it, I was like, oh my god, I'm so in love with makeup. Mm -hmm. um, and I knew, I was like, that's what I want to do. I want to be a makeup yeah. artist. Like, you just I, knew I got it, right? Well, when you I know, you it. know. Yes, and so I started looking further into it, and I seen that you could become an esthetician. I was I was already really, really big about my skin. Uh, so I was like, this is perfect. Mm -hmm. So I moved back um, home. I ended up going to Springfield, Missouri. Okay. Um, that's where I ended up going to Missouri State. Okay. And I just found out it just wasn't for me. I was like, this is not it. What were you studying? Uh, journalism. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and so I went back out there and I started going to Academy of Hair Design. Okay. Um, for my aesthetics license, I was really, really big into makeup. So I, I like to do like extravagant looks, um, just out of the runaway, box. Runaway, like runaway style. Runaway or like avant-garde. Okay. Um, love those types. I was in school and my teacher, it came to the portion for us to learn lash extensions. And she's like, Mariah, mm -hmm. you would kill it. And I'm like, girl, <laughs> tell me more. <laughs> I said, after I had watched like the quick video, we was sat down with our mannequin heads and I was like, nope. I'm not doing this. Really? I was like, okay. this is not for me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> and my teacher's like, Mariah, you really have a lot of patience. Like, you would really be good at this. I'm like, girl. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It and I kid so. you not, the first job I landed after school was Lashes. Aww. Um, I started at Amazing Lash Studio, and at the time... My boyfriend, he's now my husband, but Aww, congrats. Um, thank you. He was like, I think you should do it. I'm like, 
Okay, I'll try. Like, okay. I'll give it a try, because I'm one of those people where I'll try anything else. Yeah, same. It's, it doesn't hurt to try. It doesn't hurt to try. I spent two weeks in training, and I don't know what it was, but, like, sitting there and just being in my own zone, and just, like creating something that was hard. It was really hard yes, when I started. In the beginning it, it Absolutely. Really and I'm used to things like, oh this is easy. Okay, cool. Oh my god, same. <laughs> this is that easy. was my story in the beginning too. I I just couldn't. Like it, I, yes. I used to kind of being good with artsy stuff and my hands and creating. Mm -hmm. It a lot of things come natural to me, but yes. I myself too initially when I started last I was like, cool. this is so <laughs> awkward. This is weird. I can't do it. It's not for me, you know? Yes. But then I was stubborn too. I don't know if it was because yeah. you were stubborn, yeah. but I was stubborn, I was like, no way, I got this, yeah. I have to be able to do it, so I was stubborn, and I stuck with it, and I'm so glad I did, because yes. it's Look my life it now, yeah. that's, the, that's the biggest thing, I think, as, especially me, I'm a tourist, so I'm super stubborn, and I was like, look, I'm going to learn this, <laughs> and I would just be in my own room, zoning out, and then I was like, I can do this, like, I want to start my own business, I just mm -hmm. want to do this. So, oh Lord, I literally started <laughs> off no product, no clients. Yes. Like, I quit my job. Yes, that's how you have to do it. My Honestly, was like, that's how you uh, have to do it. Okay. He's like, okay, okay, but babe, like, well, you don't have any clients to support you. He, he's very supportive. Aww, okay, um, so he was like, okay. Um, while I went to school, he was like, don't worry about working. I got us. Oh, I'm just yeah, focused on yeah. school. So he's super supportive, but he was like, I'm the risky one. <laughs> yeah. I'm always the one like, hmm, that's the cliff. Let's jump. Yeah. <laughs> so I started with no clients, um, but he really believed in me. I started oh, off with pre-mates. I didn't know really like volume too much. And then I came across the Yegi Beauty uh -huh. <laughs> I watched your videos faithfully. Like Aww. to the point where Des was like, are you watching Yegi again? <laughs> yeah, I'm watching Yegi. And I saved up my money. I was like, this, this product is good product and I know that I want to purchase into it. So I saved up my money. Purchased the product December of 2018. Oh my gosh, you remember this date! <laughs> because my whole life changed once I started using your product. Oh. I kid you not, my clientele was I'm smiling like, so big like, uh, Because, like, I don't... Like, sitting here with you right now is, like, really surreal for me. I'm going to try so <laughs> hard to be emotional. It. You made You made it! You but, like, you've you really be been so a proud. big part of my journey. Like, Aww. you've really been a huge part of my I'm journey. I'm getting goosebumps, so I really am. You have no idea. When I first met you a year ago, I was really, like, fangirling, and I was, like, <laughs> trying to be really calm when I first met you in person, but the inside of me was like, ah! really using your product, really watching your videos to see how I could become a better artist. Um, my clientele took off. I hit my first 5k month, um, June of 2019, because then I decided I was going to change my life completely and move out to LA. Yes. Um, I had no clientele here. I started off... Always really tough and oh, it's very it's competitive. So yes. Um, but two months into me being out here, I started doing my first celebrities. I had a nice solid clientele. Um, I ended up getting pregnant, like, I think three weeks after us moving Aww. out here. Between the sunshine and the good food, we were just having a good time. Yes. <laughs> so, so that uh, we, honestly, there's a, that I, I believe there is a plan. So oh yes. yes. So it was just so beautiful. Oh. But I think it was just I was telling this like me getting the experience to work at Yegi. I already used the product, but being like in being the mix the and like putting it was so funny. I had just bought a kit. Um, and I seen the the glue rings, and I started laughing, and I said, it's funny, because it's a good chance I probably packed this. Oh! <laughs> I remember when we were packing oh, the glue rings and repackaging, right. and I was like, I probably packed this. That's right. And it's just so cool to, like... Now we're getting them pre-packed, actually, the smaller sizes, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we still have so, like, so much that we do manually. Oh, yes. Geez. And even just, like, 
organizing the shop out and like putting all because I remember we were in there yeah. for hours like organizing everything so out when you have yours like you it's that behind the scenes too it also kind of makes you dream too right like yes. oh like imagine myself sitting behind my own salon yes yeah, so. and I just I you are the queen I just I'm I literally I can't even explain what you mean to me in my life oh. Um, you're, I, honestly, Yegi, like you're a big inspiration to me. So and one of my biggest tips would have to be marketing. Um, be very intentional with your marketing. Um, especially if you're going to be wanting to be like a brand ambassador for like lash companies. That's kind of one of the things that got me into the brand ambassador program for Yegi is I really went hard for your products. I mean, they're mm -hmm. bomb already, but I wanted people to know about them. And I also feel like that just, I mean, you guys share my work anytime that I get yeah, it, it helps each other because you share followers. Absolutely. More people know you. Absolutely. So I feel like in turn, like, it just be really intentional with your marketing. Really post. I think <laughs> that's the thing that we all fail at. Is, and would you say Instagram is the be best place for beauty right now? For you, at least. Uh, for me, for sure, Instagram. Yeah. Um, Twitter is kind of. Really? We're, it's kind of oh depends on, like them at all on Twitter. It depends on where you can get in the algorithm of Twitter. But honestly, Instagram is the biggest the biggest yeah, marketing. I think program. so too um, for business. Absolutely. Oh, for beauty for industry. beauty because my portfolio is literally all there. I was at the rental company. She's renting my car out to me and she's like, Are you here for personal or business? Oh girl, I'm here for business. I do lashes. Really? I'm like, yeah. So Follow here's me. my card. Here's my work. I instantly pulled out my my Instagram. That's what you need to do. That people don't do. You have to talk about yourself. You have Absolutely. to talk about what you do. You yes. have to not be shy. You have to put it yes. out there. And I, I'm actually like surprisingly kind of bad at that. I was bad at that in the beginning. I think I got more lucky too because when I started, there weren't that many people doing it. Mm -hmm. And word of mouth helped me a lot. Absolutely. But throughout the years, I've learned definitely marketing is very yes. important. And, yes. and um, you'd be surprised how quickly things go around if you do talk and, and put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. And a best example I actually thought of when I told people and they were like, oh, that makes sense, is this stupid coronavirus, right? <laughs> it, imagine like the way people are catching it is by interaction. So I interact with you, you get it, you interact with someone, they get it. And that's how yes. it spreads. And it literally spreads so quick worldwide. Yes. So if you're good at what you do and you keep spreading the word and you tell like your friend to tell their friends, that is like the best way yes, of marketing is. too. So, and I think we, I myself too in the beginning, go and we, um, we take that for granted. And yes. I'm so glad you shared that because that's an amazing tip to share. Absolutely. And, um, yeah, wow. Yes. Go you. Yes, put yourself I out there. I hope that girl follows you, takes your class, gets some lashes. Yes, and that's exactly, she was like, I'm going to send my daughter to you because she's trying to find her niche in this world, and I want her to take your beginner class. Yeah. And I literally gave the client just from being like, you know what? I do. Let me show you my profile. So I think Instagram, yes, it, takes, having Instagram it takes you like five extra minutes to, oh, yes. to put that out there. Absolutely. Why don't you do it, right? So, um, what is one of the biggest challenges you face uh, for where to put you where you are today? That's a great question. Um, I am very open about this just because other mothers have experienced what I have gone through. Um, when I first started school, um, I was pregnant mm -hmm. and I lost my baby through school. Mm -hmm. um, I became pregnant again that next year um, while starting my business, um, and I lost my baby at five months. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I can only I can only imagine like how heartbreaking that is because I went through a huge scare mm -hmm. with my pregnancy, and I was about five months, and I almost lost. Alexander oh and at that point we didn't even want to think that like he was a baby like you know but he is a baby but yes, like I know I know so, exactly what you're saying <laughs> I, thought I want to get emotional I know exactly what you're saying um when I got pregnant with Quincy which is my son you're now you're beautiful boy thank you um I actually had to have surgery I had to get a surclosh inserted I got, get my surgery I got one um, too when I seen you post a little bit of your story I figured um, I didn't want to like su like super yeah. true because it's very I'm intimate. kind of bad. Yeah, I'm kind of bad at kind of showing my whole self no, and my that's whole okay. side. I try, I try, but I don't know something. It's, it's like if you know me personally, I'm kind yes. of a, 
I don't know, different per not a different person, but I feel like you really get to know me, then you're like, oh. But then when you don't know me, I'm, it's so hard to display like your whole self on absolutely, media. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Um, and so I went through that while working. I was wow. high risk. Um, I couldn't lift over you 10 worked pounds. The whole time you were on it. When I got my circles, I was like, I'm going to do the full on bed rest yes. and my doctor recommended I'm not moving, like baby stay in. <laughs> yes, so when I was here in January, when I had said like, hey, I've got to resign, um, my doctor was like, you're still working? And I was yeah. like, Ugh. So yeah, that was, I would have but to say that was- thank God, he's healthy, oh, he's, he's healthy. great. It was a beautiful pregnancy, um, I was like, um, when we delivered, it was just wonderful. Um, but I would have to say that was my biggest challenge, losing my babies and still having to move forward. Because wow. I still had a business I had to run. Honestly, um, I don't know how you did it. I'm getting, <laughs> you guys can see I'm getting like red and goosebumps. Um, it's- like I could relate to what a challenge that is because yes. I got the scare of going almost like Absolutely. losing him and my life wasn't my life. Me and my husband, we were just yes. depressed and stressed. We're counting the days like yes. any day now we can lose it. I, I don't know. I don't even want to go into it, but I, I mainly want to like <laughs> bow yeah, down to you, for, you for like keep going after those incidences because yes. I'm sure other people can relate out there too because it's just, it's, it's very difficult. Absolutely. So, I, I think the biggest think thing it made you was stronger? the mental. Yeah, it, it made me a lot stronger. I, I feel like physically and mentally um, and emotionally um, because it's and very it's, we difficult. We don't even know it's that common. I'm happy it's you brought so it up and people talk absolutely. about it. Because when it happened to me, I was feeling very like, what's wrong with me? Because yes. not many people have shared. So I'm happy no. you shared and we're sharing because you know, we all go through our challenges Absolutely. and it's so important to and know I, that you can move on. That you on. can move on from it. And I like to share the story because I love when women say, hey, I'm experiencing this. Can you help me? Oh, yeah. um, because I've been through it before. And then, and then the, the, when you lose a child, I had to cremate my baby. And so just mentally, I had to tell myself, like, you can either stay right here and just completely be depressed and move around and not go anywhere, just stay stuck. Mm -hmm. Or you can just let out your emotions, understand what's out. happening to you, and then just move forward. Yeah. And I think that was probably one of the biggest challenges, and I'm really proud of myself. I'm, I went so, proud it twice. Of I'm so proud so of you. I'm so proud of you. And so thank you. Um, I would have to say that was the biggest challenge, while also still having to be in that mental mindset Focus. like when i'm at work i'm at work i have to leave everything else at the door so yeah that was probably one that's of my a great challenges. lesson to to share with people to to be able to to separate the personal and the absolutely. business or the work so absolutely wow i'm very proud of you <laughs> thank you yes thank you so much wow well, honestly i i really didn't know like that it is so common and after it yes. happened to me too I searched more and more about Absolutely. it too and, and more people you know came forth it's like oh this happened to me or this yes. happened to my friend or yes. my and it aunt. makes it easier because you can relate to someone I actually someone um added me to a Facebook group where there were oh, a hundred of someone women. added me to that one I can d I yeah whenever if you ever go through it again definitely reach out to me because I, I will be more than happy yeah. to um I got a lot of resources from that group and uh, just a lot of confidence too group, yeah. yeah it was beautiful it was beautiful yeah honestly it's so nice to hear that yes. this is the last question actually I'm sad I'm sad oh! a lot of good products okay so okay my first one hands down the flat classic lashes oh okay those are my favorite and I if you're not using them I don't so for classic sets you prefer to for use those sure for sure the classic or the, the flat mat do you I, use the point 15 point 18 oh I use both oh, okay I use both <laughs> um I love 
to mix them because okay. it gives like different like a nice wispy look but I love them because one the retention on them is amazing they um, are honestly they are those ones are one of my amazing. favorites too for classic and I was so and they're, excited and they're a lot more softer than the yes the regular ones. yes I was just a little bit that. more pricey but a lot more soft so worth it yeah. so worth it those are my favorite um even because you, you switched it. You changed it a little bit. We have a 2.0. That's the one. The 2.0 so is... We have, uh, both of them are bomb, but the 2.0 yeah. is amazing. I yeah. love so the that's like the new and improved. soft. That's the new and improved, the 2.0. They're the same price, okay. but they come in the diff different lengths or different thicknesses based on yes. what. Because it's just so hard to get that material and that perfect... Yes. Flat lash. I love that. <laughs> so one. that's why there's the regular and then the 2.0 because I can't oh, make them in all okay. the lengths because it's just so hard to make them so perfect. Uh huh. Absolutely. So that's um, the difference. Those are my favorite. I would have to say my second favorite are definitely the Mega Volume 2.0. Okay. Those are any favorite. specific thickness? I've heard. Oh, definitely 0 0.3. Yes, I was gonna say. I've heard everybody say that. I'm like, definitely. Oh. It's like, why don't people like the five and the seven as much? Mm. But. I need to, maybe I'm going to go like recreate the 5 and 7, I don't know, those those are not getting as much love as the .03s, but... They're um, amazing because I would love, I used to mix the point sevens. Do you think it's because you can get bigger fans? Yes. Or is it easier to fan out the point zero Both. It's easier to fan, you're able to get like a bigger, wider fan, um, I just, in, they're... They're soft, they're feathery. Oh my goodness. I have <laughs> not been able to find any other products like it. Um, those are hands discontinue down. everything else. Only the Mega Volume 2.0 <laughs> from now on. Those Only are my a point zero three. <laughs> uh that I, I wish I could name more than two. Because the banana glue, That's the, 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 stop the it. holders that I can put my lashes on. I love those. The color lashes, like I can go on all day. Okay, well. <laughs> so happy and so honored to have you here and thank you so much for taking the time sharing your stories I'm sure everybody out there that's getting started and do have life challenges they're looking you know at someone who again started later in the game compared to me and is now doing so great and um, there's just so much to achieve and I just can't wait to hopefully interview in another year or two and and see how far you've gotten yes, right you. so it's so so exciting to um to to share that story and yes. I am like hands down proud of you for overcoming your huge challenge thank so. you thank you for having me today I I love you oh, thank you. Oh, you too. <laughs> they were being very cheesy I know <laughs> okay so let's end the video then we can be all squeaky and cheesy <laughs> but um thank you so much for watching everybody yegi here miss raya will link all her information below so you can go follow her and um uh, and see what else she has to offer but thank you for watching bye, bye. <laughs> i mean bye